Craig Cameron, Gov's Red, here with a victorious Jordan McCorry. Uh, how are you getting on, Jordan? Aye, all good, man. Good to see you. <laughs> you getting on all right? Aye, good. Good, mate. Um, how did you rate your performance? You were fighting Belfast, Ali Baza. It was a bit of a, a tick-over fight, wasn't it, of course? Pretty much, mate. It was just, uh, obviously, I'm fighting in a month again against Archie Sharp, and it was just kind of, obviously, I was scheduled to fight this fight, so I didn't want to like, pull out because people had bought tickets and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so just kind of one of the ones. It was... Uh, is kind of a routine as a fight yet, pretty much, isn't it? I was just trying to uh, stay away, no get a cut, just try and keep it long, right. pretty much, and just pretty much be sensible, and that's that, isn't it? Was it? Is it hard fighting when you obviously are fighting such a big card in BT Sport I, previously, and then coming back to to fighting in a kind of nah, tick over not, fight? Nah, not really, man. It's just it was just hard because I knew the, the sharp fight sell. No, I mean yeah. I knew for me I've got a, I've kind of got a lot to lose for that because then if. If I get a cut or if I get beat, obviously I wouldn't get beat, but if mm. I'd get a cut or something like that, I, as I said to you, you get like 28 day suspension with a cut, so mm. I would have been out for the sharp fight then. So there's a mm. lot kind of riding on that performance there. If mm. I go in, all guns blazing, and you know how easy it is to get in a cut in boxing, mm. there's heads flying everywhere and there's an elbow, you know what I mean? So just as I said, I would just try to play it safe and just get the points win, that was it. Aye, and, and how, did the, how did the fight come? Uh, about with Archie Sharp, it's, it's a massive opportunity for you, Jordan. Well, uh, actual book to go on hold then, the 12th, of, was it the 12th of July, I, and I remember I was out for something to eat with my missus, and I said, uh, I saw that Dubois v Gorman was in the London O2, and I said to her, I bet you I get asked to fight Archie Sharp, and then I was at my work, like about three weeks ago or something, and then uh, Sam's, Sam's came up phoning us, and I was like, ah, I missed it as well, and I, so I phoned it right back, and he's like, ah, all right, such and such, he's like, ah, I've got an opportunity for you. And I was like, ah, what is it? And he's like, ah, would you like to fight Archie Sharp? And I was just like, ah, for sure, mate, you know me, I'll, I'll fight anybody, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then he's obviously saying, in the Dubai Gorman undercard, is unreal, isn't it? And mm -hmm. BT sporting that again, so. Must be, must be good to get recognised that you've, you've naturally, you must have been recognised off of Frank Warren for the great performance you put on against yeah, Sam I, Bowen. Yeah, for sure, I definitely. I, as I was saying to you, I was saying to like Calvin and Cubby and Chris in there, like, I think this time last year, like yeah, I was like, ah, when am I ever got to get a shot here? Like I felt like in boxing, I had been doing it for long enough, and nothing was happening. I wasn't getting a chance to fight in the telly and stuff like that. Then I fought in Geneva, then I fought uh, Sam Bone, uh, headlining it, obviously in BT, and put a good performance in there. And uh, that's me. I'm I'm reaping the benefits pretty much now, aren't I? So, Aye, brilliant. Nice um, and do you know do you know much about Archie Shot? We've seen him fight yeah, before. Exactly. As I said, I had an interview with Frank Orr's team. He's a very good boxer, isn't he? He's, he's, he's different compared to Bowen, isn't he? He's, he's more a better technical boxer and he's, he's got a good amateur pedigree. So I, I really rate him as a boxer, but for me, he's only beat Woodstock and, like, no disrespect to Leon Woodstock. Like, I, I generally think, like, yeah, I would beat Woodstock all day of the week. Like, I was supposed to fight him a, a couple of years ago, or was it last year? And he bottled it, so... And then... Obviously now I'm fighting up to shop for after he beat him, so it's good, mate. I'm 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 buzzing for it to be fair. Like I've no wanted because I know this fight was happening. Uh, obviously like Paisley, I've not really wanted to think about it too much because I I need to get uh, through through tonight and fight that. But I am buzzing, mate, man. Like I just think they've gave me too much time for me. Like that that last one, they only gave me like three weeks to a month notice. This time they've given me a good bit of notice in that. So uh, as I was saying the other day to somebody. The, I can't if if I get beat and stuff like that. Like it's my own fault. It's it's nothing to do with the judges or the ref. I'm not leaving it down to them. I'm just it's just going to be a different job. McCory on the night. I think, man, for sure, I'll be I'll be all guns blazing. Yeah. For it, to be fair. And the coverage that that comes with, Jordan, because you can't really, that's a night that I would say most bo boxing fans are, are looking forward to and headline with Dubois, uh, Dubois and Gorman as well. So, Aye, so you're fighting that for a European title. Aye, it's different class. Like when I was down, the whole experience obviously fighting down in Leicester and uh, obviously doing the press conference and stuff like that, it was, it was different class, you know what I mean? Like it was brilliant because even the public workout and that, you're getting everybody there or the cameras and that. So it was good. It was good to be part of it and like obviously I'll be part of this one in BT now. It's it's mm -hmm. it's class, you know what I mean? So I'm buzzing for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, even bigger news recently with the, ah, the new arrival. Bad, of the man, I know man, fucking uh, December my missus is due now, so uh, 
I class, mate. Uh, t- I, to be fair, it's been a, it's been a good, uh, it's been a good month for the McCordy boys. Anyway, to be fair, like Josh, my brother, uh, he won the treble with uh, the Glencairn under 21s, and then he just got an, uh, a new job there the other week. So uh, it's, it's looking good now in 2019 for the McCordys, <laughs> definitely. So if I can get the European title for sure in a month's time, then it'll be that unreal to be fair. And on your arrival, it'll be a, a cherry on top. Aye, uh, aye, hopefully it'll be a, a mini job day for sure, hopefully. <laughs> and does that give you bigger motivation with, with that news going into this fight? Oh, aye, definitely, you know what I mean? Like, for me, eh, it's just a different platform, isn't it? Like, if I win, you know what it's like, like, if you win this fight, then you're contracted to Frank Warren, you just get the fights and like Frank Warren's got a lot of good boys at Super Featherweight and like my name's in there now, know what I mean? That's, that's how obviously I'm fighting Sharp, so if I, potentially if I beat Sharp man, it's it's definitely looking good for us, know what I mean? That's brilliant. Uh, no, listen, thanks very much for speaking to us, John. Is there anything else you want to add? Nah, nah, that's, that's pretty much it, mate. I'm all brilliant. good, man. Alright, that's right. brilliant. Thanks very much, Jordan. Nah, Cheers. Thanks for the interview, mate. Cheers. Mate, every time, man.